So the first thing you need to set up for this demo will be the AI inputs. So I go to click menu and go to settings. Here in AI channels, I go to range and I select channels one and two because they will have the same settings. For the range, this has a nine volt battery. So I will go ahead and choose 20, which is the highest one, the one higher than it. Um, and for the lower span, I will choose zero because the voltage cannot go below that. And for the higher, I mean it all around that nine volt battery to about a 10 because sometimes it might go over. And since this voltage, what is measuring is an amount of gallons per minute, I will need linear scaling. And in the scale, uh, I'll leave that to zero to 100 and make the unit gallons per minute. Uh, I will need no moving average and no bias. Next, I'll make sure that the DI channel settings are set correctly. Uh, they should be set to default. Um, type is DI, span lower zero, span upper one, no calculation. Same for um, all of the channels from one to three. Uh, and it is correct, I need to save nothing. Digital output, I go ahead and check also that they have the correct settings, which they seem to have, zero to one, no unit. And if you want these to turn on when the alarm is set off, the type should be alarm, by the way, um, then you will have them energize. Um, if it were the other way around that you want the default to be on, you'd have de-energize, but that is not the case. So the first thing we do in the math channel settings is go to the constants and check that they are set to what we want them to be. In this case, uh, we will only be using one constant, which is, and it will be zero. Um, so this is fine. And uh, we go to calculation expression and we turn channel A1 on. And the first thing we wanna do is make this switch turn off this valve even if it's manually open. And so we need an if then else statement. So if this switch is on, which is channel 101, then the value of this channel, channel math channel A1 will be K1, zero. And if it's not on, if it's uh, this switch is off, it's zero then we want that value to be the value of channel one, which is this input. Um, we will leave this like that and change the unit to gallons per minute. No sum scale, no T log, no rolling average, and we save it. You do the same thing for uh, channel A2, except we do it for the second switch. This is channel 102. It will be equal to zero when that is on, and if not, it will be equal to channel 2, analog input number 2. Unit will be gallons per minute again then channel a3 will be a summation of the amount of gallons per minute going in or out um, a3 will be out and a4 we will be using in so here we want that summation to reset when switch 3 is on or in the case that um, there has been more water out than water in, we want that to stay in zero because we don't want negative numbers. So we'll create a switch later using uh, channel A5.
so what I want this to be is reset if switch one, which we will create later, or channel 103, which is this switch. Reset that if either of these are true. Um, we will reset the summation, which will be a summation of channel A1. Click OK. The unit will be gallons. And we have to set the sum scale to minutes because this is gallons per minute turned into gallons. Rolling average will still be off. And we save that. We do the same for channel A4, except this will be a summation of what is going out and not in. So reset channel uh, 103, which is this switch, or our switch number one, which will be an internal switch, not a physical one. Uh, T log sum of channel A2, which is all the water coming out. This will be in gallons as well. And we need to change our sum scale to minutes. And that is it for channel A4. Now the most important channel, A5, will be the difference between the water coming in and the water coming out, which is simply A three minus A four, and that will also be in gallons. And we do not need anything else. We can go into the display settings of this channel and make the color blue if we're filling it with water. And now it's time to create our alarms to have these three turn on whenever um, the level is past 90, 95, or 100. And we also need a last alarm to create the internal switch. So first, it's a high alarm, and I want that to turn on at 90 gallons. Um, and I want the output type to be a relay, which makes it a, di a digital output. Uh, channel 109 is this one. That's fine. Now I want the same, but at 95, and I want the second relay to turn on, which is channel 110. For number three, I want the same, but at 100, and this will be our last relay alarm. And that is channel 111. And finally, we will have an internal switch turn on whenever the value of channel A5 is less than zero. So the value will be at, let's make that negative 0.01, which is the lowest negative number. And we'll have that turn back on when it's zero. So our hysteresis will be 0.01. And our output type will be an internal switch, and it will be internal switch number one, which we used in the other channels as S1. Now we save that. I like, and we go to groups, display settings, group number one. I don't want to see any of these. I only care about channel A5. I save that. And I want to look at it in a bar so it's more visual. We turn computing on. And here we have it. The tank is filling up. The switches are working. And let's check our alarms.
And let's try switch number three to see if it resets the tank to zero. So here you have this filling tank setup. Please continue to watch our modules for more demonstrations as you continue to learn how to use your GX. Thank you.